Well, today we did see a few peaks of sunshine in between our rain showers and also the clouds, which this particular one, very tall in the sky, dropping some rain shower from it. And what you have up there in the very higher level of the cloud, you have ice crystals. And sometimes that can produce some freezing rain or rain, and that will simply melt to the ground before it reaches it. So again, there can be some snow at the higher level of the sky, but at this point in time, the warmer temperatures at the ground keeping that from happening. That's why you move into the eastern mountains and you do see some snow flakes this time of the year as well. This picture from Luther Hudnall today at our chime in and a great view of the Capitol outside here in Charleston as well. On the three big things, a damp and dreary day for your Monday tomorrow, scattered showers, a lot more cloud cover than what you saw today, and more of the same continuing again for your Tuesday as well. We will warm up a little bit by the middle of the week. Dry conditions, and Thursday seems to be really nice with plenty of sunshine, but there's moisture that will be coming in. And Friday, several rounds of showers, and then the breezy and cool weather, the winds picking up heading into the weekend, definitely could be something to keep an eye on out there as well. We have our scattered showers right now in the eastern mountains on the radar and satellite tonight. Even a few snowflakes really high up there on the mountaintops. And we're going to see an increase in the shower activity later tonight as well here in Charleston in the lower elevations ahead of this disturbance. The same one that brought the showers today. Well, there's another spin up of showers to our north as well. And the breezy conditions might not be as windy tomorrow, but that flow of air from Canada, you could definitely notice it outside here in the month of October. Looking at our future cast, still our mountain showers continuing. We will see an increase in the shower activity right before 5 a.m. in our western counties near Huntington. A little bit soggy there early on in the morning. Temperatures dropping down into the 40s. Could be some slick road travel as well for your morning commute up there by Parkersburg and Ripley as well on the interstates and then by the middle of the day mostly cloudy skies in fact a lot more gloomy conditions outside we're not going to really see any sunlight tomorrow more scattered showers by the middle of the day some of these could be locally heavy we would expect a little bit more rainfall out of those but notice it's more scattered once again just a little bit dreary outside definitely not your most comfortable monday out there at all the heavier showers could dump anywhere from a tenth up to a quarter of an inch of rain as they move through but we're not expecting any thunderstorms perhaps some ice pellets as well from what we talked about as those clouds are definitely hitting the higher levels of the sky with the rain showers so here's what we have by the evening a little bit of relief here not that bad monday night into tuesday a few scattered showers there, but we do expect some more shower activity on Tuesday. This projection not showing anything, maybe even a few peaks of sunshine. Definitely not as soggy as Monday, though, for a good comparison. Temperatures really consistent, only about 50 degrees there for Tuesday. And then Wednesday, a little bit warmer. The afternoon, the weather pattern opens up. High pressure coming in and really being a nice day for the middle of the week. A little bit warmer for Thursday. We have a system that is developing into the middle of the country. Low pressure, cold for Front, pushing its way eastward warm into the 70s for Thursday but here's what happens there's a lot of moisture there like I talked about that could provide a good soaking of rain for Friday up to a half an inch of rain as that system moves eastward the low strengthens into the northeast and then we get the wraparound winds for a pretty soggy start to the weekend scattered showers and breezy conditions outside bridge day at the New River Gorge looks a little bit windy and a little bit of relief on Sunday but still into the 50s